everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers thank you so much for your support I greatly appreciate it and I want to also thank those of you that are stopping by for the first time welcome thank you for visiting my channel I hope that you find the singles Taurus reading insightful now I will be channeling messages focusing on what do you need to know right now in regards to your love life and in regards to your and or your dating okay dating life now everyone is here because you know your sun sign and that is Taurus but in addition to these this reading and the messages that I'm going to share with you in a few minutes is for you if you do know your birth chart take a look at your birth chart and see where your Venus what your Venus sign is okay so what zodiac you have under your Venus that's also going to give you additional messages so yes take a look at this video but if you know your birth chart also add um viewing that venus sun sign okay now that being said this is a general reading if you are interested in a one-to-one -one private reading just look down below in the description box all my information is there please note i do not reach out to potential clients i always let clients reach out to me which is the reason why you will see my email there now if someone is reaching out to you claiming to be me, just know that that is not me because I do not reach out to potential clients. Okay, guys, that being said, single Taurus, let's take a look here at what do you need to know right now in regards to your love life or dating. Taurus, the message you need to know is you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. All right, there may be this um, feeling here that uh, you may be underrating yourself, okay? So it's pretty much saying you are in a way cluttering your mind in overanalyzing or overthinking something in regards to yourself. Maybe you're being a little bit too self-critical, okay? Um, and it's time for you to release that energy, Taurus, okay? With this uh, with this card that it says it's time to, re to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So it's saying here, stop worrying about things, um, about things that you are focusing on about yourself. It's like you're pulling yourself apart. You're being like your, your own, your own worst critic. And this is pretty much saying, um, <clears throat> step away from that energy okay and that type of self-critical analyzation or self-critical um i'm hearing microscope you it's like you're putting yourself under a microscope here and you're nitpicking or you're 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 pulling apart um a lot of qualities that you know that make you you right and it's saying here you are good enough just the way you are just the way you are on the inside just the way that you are on the outside all right so let's take a look here at what other messages um you need to know right now taurus says it says work of art be the portrait of divine beauty that's exactly what this is telling you here Taurus says you may be thinking or you may be having this image of what beauty is and it's saying you are that beauty you are that portrait you are that sense of um beauty that you are seeking or that you are looking in other people you know you are great the way you are you know and to see yourself in that light okay so i feel here there's a sense of self um self care okay um in a sense of you uh self-love and self-worthiness okay so i feel here that this is just um reminding you oh okay you have family here a very beautiful card that um you need to release this negativity stop worrying okay stop nitpicking stop cluttering your mind um by being too critical about yourself and your own uniqueness um okay that's interesting i literally like you see this this stayed behind so fine i'll take that and wow this stayed behind also okay it's like my nail couldn't grab it but we'll we'll, we'll leave it as such all right so other messages here that you have you have family i feel here for some of you you are either having the support of family and friends or friends that you 
feel that are family in regards to your love life and your dating okay i feel that there may be connections that you may be meeting through people that you already know so it may be a family member or a friend that may reach out to you um, and say or invite you somewhere and you may meet someone um, in that type of capacity okay i feel here that others of you are thinking or wanting the sense of a uh, family or stability like this is what you would like your ideal setting okay of um starting a family creating a family or finding someone who if you are already a parent if you are already a single a parent that you are looking for that type of connection where the person not only accepts you but also accepts your child or your children okay is what i'm feeling here with the family card you also have the angel number here for four so um for for uh, some of you here if you want to take a look at that you have four four as an angel number that may be significant for some of you i feel here that also they're, they're telling me this is a reason some of you here tauruses may be getting sign symbols and synchronicities in regards to your love life or in regards to dating okay signs symbols and synchronicities all right let's take a look at your next card you have freedom i feel here for you single tauruses this is saying here for you to have the freedom or for you to be able to feel that you can step out of your comfort zone this sense of freedom is all about stepping out of your comfort zone i feel here that a lot of you are very comfortable doing things a certain way um because this is what you've always done but remember if you always do what you've always done you're not going to be able to see what other new possibilities or new paths or new people or just this newness that could come to you right and that can in a way further fulfill your love life and your dating life all right so here it's that's the 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 message that i'm picking up here others of you i'm picking up a strong energy of traveling okay some of you may end up in a connection here where there may be a long distance connection where you have to travel here okay where the communication there's going to be just a lot of communication because there is a sense of distance okay physical distance okay the next one you have here is maturity the next message is here is maturity and maturity i'm getting here is the, the strong sense of you are now more mature you now see things very differently and maturity has nothing to do with age it has to do with just looking at things from a different perspective and i feel here for you um taurus is that um you are in this energy where you have come to in a way sense or see a different it's like epiphany i just saw a dragonfly in my mind's eye so the sense of epiphany okay of doing things in a different way of understanding that all those um hills and valleys in the past were just stepping stones stepping stones for you to come to a place of a different type of awareness or come to a different sense of understanding things from a different perspective which in a way is telling you now that you are in the sense of maturity right now now that you see things in a different way you know in regards to your love life step out of your comfort zone okay it's like you're strong enough now or you're mature enough or you're in a different state of self-realization of growth to start seeing that it's okay for you to step out of your comfort zone okay let's take a look here at what other messages taurus you have here in regards to your love life and dating you have here the arousing and that's under family under freedom you have the cauldron and under maturity you have abundance exactly what i was telling you is the sense of growth that you are either currently in or that your love life and dating um life is in a way propelling this energy of growth 
So for family here, you have arousing. And I feel here that there may have been a wake up call or a shake up here, okay? In regards to what you in your mind see or view as a long lasting connection or what you, it's like you have a new way of seeing what commitment is. There may have been something in your past, in your recent past, that caused that type of self-realization. Remember that I just saw a little while ago in my mind's eye, a dragonfly. So there's this sense of self-epiphany that you may have gone um, under or you may have gone through where you are now re-establishing your own values and your own view of what uh, family is or what a good uh, partner is if you are a single parent like there's this sense of awareness here and i feel here that things didn't work out in the past in your past connections and you're single because you needed to become more aware you needed to hit that type of awareness here you needed that shake up you needed that shock you needed that um that jolt of seeing things in a very clear light perhaps maybe in the past or in your past connection or relationship you may not have uh, seen that as clearly here with the cauldron and freedom being right above it this is all about discerning your wisdom it's all about understanding the reasons why certain things have come about understanding that there is this sense of you needing to step out of your comfort zone of you stepping out because it's time for you to be aware or come into the sense of awareness that you've undergone the spiritual renewal there is this sense of different uh, or different or growth here that you are now kind of in a way stepping into this dating scene or your love life or um you know it is just different it's not like it was before is the message that i'm getting here it's like you've outgrown certain ideals you've outgrown certain perspectives that you clinged on very tightly in the past okay and in a way, this is why I feel that you have gotten this. It's time to release. It's time to release all those old perspectives, all those old beliefs, because you're now in a different mindset. You're now in a different sense of growth. Let's take a look here at abundance. And it's right under maturity here. So I feel here with this card of, um, of abundance here, it's all about again it's all about this maturity the sense of growth and the sense of growth is now going to lead you or going it's going to generate an abundance in your love life so whether that abundance is your abundance of prosperity abundance of love abundance of self-worth abundance of loving yourself before you start looking outside of yourself right in order to uh, establish a relationship i feel that this uh, abundance is also about generosity being generous not only to yourself but creating this equal uh, reciprocal energy of generosity it's like if I am being very generous to others then you will reap that what you sow and I feel here with your love life okay or with your dating life there's plenty here of abundance coming in your direction you have here the hanged man It's very interesting the hanged man came under the arousing remember that i was talking to you a little while ago about the sense of being shocked right or the sense of a disruption that may have uh, been caused here in your love life and in your dating scene all right so i feel here that shock or that situation okay that dramatic shift this in a way this disruption or tower moment created the sense of you just stopping just putting your love life or your dating scene on pause because you were trying to regain a new perspective this past relationship that you may have had or this past connection that you may have had really did a number on you emotionally 
and it also created you uh, created an opportunity for you to readjust and recalibrate your sense of what you really want and what you need and what you really need in a potential or future partner. So the next one is you the next card you have here um, to clarify the freedom card in the cauldron is the justice card. So you have justice. And what this is telling me here is that all the wrongs, all this situation here, okay, having to do with this disruption, this tower moment, okay, is now being recalibrated. Okay, all the wrongs are being turned into right by the justice by the hands of justice by lady justice okay also here by destiny and by fate i feel here that this adjustment um as well as balance okay and i'm also feeling here a sense of balance for a lot of you that you need to be able to balance the sense of stepping out of your comfort zone understanding that yes you you, you can you can focus on your routine and, and no one is telling you to be someone that you're not, right? But also to, you know, to be a little bit adventurous and to, um, to balance the sense of taking risks along with balancing a sense of, in a way, doing what you've always done, right? To have that equal balance and that equal give and take. You also have here the Hermit card under the maturity and abundance. And I feel here, Taurus, that this is talking about this energy um, in your love life that you need to, in a way, tap into your higher consciousness. Take a look at all those things because this hermit, this hermit card is focusing into the future. And here in the past, you have the hanged man and this tower moment. And it's telling you, don't bring in this tower moment, obviously, into the future, but definitely bring the wisdom. Bring what you have learned here in your past and bring that sense of awareness and that sense of um a wisdom into your present i'm sorry into your upcoming energy okay i feel here that in your present time is also telling you to have this sense of balance right and to allow then this hermit energy to guide you to this sense of higher awareness okay but you need to be able to feel this balance internally as well so that you are able to be guided by your wisdom right because if things are uh, off balance or off um or not in an even keel here then it's going to be very difficult for you to tune in to the subtle energies of your intuition and your wisdom let's take a or your inner knowing um let's take a look here at what mindset do you need to be in tauruses in regards um uh in regards to your love life and your uh dating so the energy that or the mindset that you need to be in is I am fearless. Remember that I just said this a little while ago, stepping out of your comfort zone. You need to now say to yourself, I understand what my fears are, but what small steps can I take in, or in order to overcome the sense of fear or the sense of loss or the sense of not being able to step out of the comfort zone, right? So there is the sense of you now being in this mindset of I am fearless. I am going to blossom. I am going to bloom. I am going to grow from this energy that, you know, maybe I was afraid to take risks in the past. Now I'm going to be able to take more risks because I am fearless. I am in this energy of self-confidence okay so Taurus says i hope this was an insightful message for you if you aren't part of my channel just click the lexa tarot logo right here and i'll see you next time bye bye